Good morning, everybody. On behalf of the um, ABA AIDS Coordinating Committee and um, the ABA Rule of Law Initiative, just welcome to this event. Um, we're excited to have you here. We're excited to be at um, Georgetown uh, today. I'm excited to be here in the cold since I came from Florida. Um, <laughs> but I won't, uh, I won't hold that guy over you guys. We're having 80, 85 degree weather today. Um, <laughs> but I do want to thank um, Georgetown Law Professor, <coughs> Professor Larry Goldstein, uh, Goldstein for his, and his entire team here for allowing us to be here today and participating in the event. Um, we've been real excited about um, having the event and having the rollout, um, and we're glad that it's finally been accomplished today. Um, I also want to thank um, our colleagues um, that are just here with ABA Rolly for their partnership in this event. Um, they have a superb uh, assessment tool, which is going to be a tremendous resource for all of us, government stakeholders um, and the like. So um, we're honored to have been able to play a role in that, um, the development of that tool, and we're excited to hear more about that and about the panelists later on. By way of background, um, if you don't know anything about the ABA, the ABA uh, established the ABA AIDS Coordinating Committee in 1987. Um, to identify and analyze um, and address issues surrounding HIV and AIDS um, and the epidemic, um, and in doing so to help diminish the hysteria um, and discrimination um, related to people living with um, AIDS and HIV um, and things that they had experienced. Um, to fulfill that charge, the committee, one of the first um, goals of the committee was to conduct um, numerous hearings to get a comprehensive understanding of the issues um, and really to craft some ABA policies um, surrounding these issues, which the ABA AIDS Coordinating Committee did produce um, back in um, 1989 and were adopted by the ABA in 1989 and 1990. Um, and those are still policies that the ABA follows today. Um, to promote these policies, um, which are available on our committee's website, which I would um, uh, encourage you to visit if you have an opportunity, and to educate the wider legal profession about um, our policies and procedures. In 1994, the committee produced our first bench book, um, which was an exciting um, opportunity for us, followed by a supplement in 1997. Um, while, of course, the progress has been great since that time, much remains to be done um, in this area, uh, especially as we mark another World AIDS Day tomorrow, um, December 1st. Following the committee's sponsored meeting and examination of the resurgence of HIV-specific criminal statutes in the United States in 2010, um, it became clear that we needed an updated um, bench book. Um, and that's what brings us here today. We've been working on that for quite a while and are excited to be able to roll it out today. Um, my colleagues at the committee that some of you know, Cynthia Knox and um, Josh Baccarat, served as editors. Um, of the uh, complex undertaking. Um, if you've ever done anything like this, you know that um, it takes a long time and, and many hands um, in the pot. And uh, they were ably assisted by the uh, committee staff, uh, particularly Jenna Anderson, um, Tony Holness, and Amy Heisch. Cynthia and Josh, although they had um, planned on participating um, today, we're not able to do so due to a scheduling change after the hurricane, um, which caused us to reschedule this for today. Um, and also our vice chair, um, Richard Wilson, sends his regrets as well. He, at the last minute, was not able to, to attend either because of a scheduling conflict. Um, and another person I, I want to recognize before we get started is Michael Pates. He, um, sitting to my left, um, has been just a pillar for the committee over the years, and we would not have been able to do the things that we've done, um, both with the committee and its work and or this bench book without him. Um, in a minute, he's going to talk about um, the bench book in further detail, um, also and describe the assessment tool and um, the two outstanding panels that are going to be coming up in a few minutes. I think you'll be excited about that. Um, but before I end, I'd be remiss not to remind you that the bench book is available for sale um, for $40 for anyone who wants to um, get a copy or send a copy to someone else. Um, it's a great um, tool for anyone to use, but particularly lawyers and people that are in this, this area. And, and I know that I'm going to be sending some out to folks as well. So um, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Mike. 